Hiya! Post raid testing whisper. Um, I'm just gonna have the stuff going on in the background. I'm a little frazzled, a little bit stressed, so I'm just gonna try and get through it. But I'm not gonna go over the fights individually, I'm just gonna have this as sort of like background stuff going on. Um, and then just share my thoughts. So, uh, raid testing, how did it go? Uh, the lag was incredible, um, for the first bit, as you will soon find out. Uh, here we go, the lag is starting, it's gonna, it's gonna get worse. It was pretty bad, especially on this first boss. First boss generally is just kind of like a, uh, a really heavy AoE situation. Um, so Spatter, uh, Crimson Tempest was really good. Um, I also played Exsanguinate on it for a little bit. And uh, the AoE was really good. Like, really good. Um, if you could effectively get Kingsbane going when these Lashers were up and Spatter was going on everything and you played Arterial Precision, for example, and Shiv hit everything, right? Um, like it is here that I hit all of these Lashers and now I'm going crazy. Um, and you can see my damage is pretty good. It's it's doing all right. It's doing all right. Now, obviously, half my raid is dead, and we're also lagging like hell. Um, but you know, it, it it's it's good. It's fine. It does it does good stuff. Um, there is some weird tuning stuff that still needs to happen, in my opinion. I think in order for assassination to be in a really really good place. Um, but just based off the raid testing that we did here, um, it it was it was fine. It was just, it was just fine. Um, Assassination's AoE looks really good with Spatter. By the way, if you want to look at my talents, here you go. This was just stuff I was playing around with. I went Poison Bomb on some, Tiny Toxic Blade on others. You know, general stuff. It was pretty generic, generally speaking. Um, but I really like the first boss. The first boss was pretty cool. It is sort of a, a big AoE fiesta. Um, we did end up killing it. This was only a uh, heroic testing. Um, we did end up killing this fight and the next fight as well. We got them both dead. Um, I will include the logs for that in the description in case you guys want to check. It is a complete fiesta, though. The numbers are all over the place. And uh, that's sort of the end of the good news. The bad news, uh, if I scroll ahead a little bit here is uh, I had to eventually take off Spatter. And uh, at one point, I was simply AFK. So if we go to the second boss, for example, um, you'll see me running around randomly, not hitting anything. Uh, and this was actually kind of a mistake, but in a weird way, let me explain. So, uh, PTR was incredibly laggy the entire time. It was, it was pretty laggy. But on top of that, due to Spatter and Crimson Tempest and all the poison ticks, I had a lot of damage events, right? Just single damage events that were happening. Um, and in order to not make the lag worse, uh, the call was made that I either don't play assassination or uh, I just AFK. And that was just a general call that was made like, hey, you're probably lagging the raid more than you need to. So we got to do something. You got to You got to stop doing that. Talenting out of spatter didn't help. Um, Talenting out of Crimson Tempest didn't help, but it was just a lot of uh, a lot of damage events on top of the lag and the servers already melting. Normally, it wouldn't be an issue, but if the servers are already melting, then adding more damage events doesn't help, right? It doesn't help. So I'm just AFK, and on for about probably the first 40 minutes of this fight, I didn't hit the boss. I played sub for a little bit, but. Uh, I have no clue how to play sub in 2023, and I was doing tank damage. So I thought, hey, why would I do tank damage on a spec I don't want to play if I could just spec assassination, look at the mechanics, understand some stuff, 
um, talk to chat, you know, all the kind of things. Not really pay attention to doing any damage to the boss. Because we're damage stopping anyways to make sure that we aren't killing. So I just took the opportunity to just AFK, focus on mechanics, do some stuff, test cloak, test feint, um, test targeting of abilities, where goes, like, like what targets who. Um, we actually had an interesting moment where uh, the spears on this fight seem to heavily favor ranged, but if melee is really far away, it could go on melee. Um, so I was standing out in ranged baiting those to see what would happen. All that kind of stuff. Usual testing stuff. Um, and it went well. It, went, it all went well. At the end, uh, I got to hit the boss as well. So they let me hit the boss again in the last last little bit. Let me see if I can get, find something like that. They reset. Yeah, so this this one, I'm, I'm hitting the boss. Um, Kingsbane, really strong. Both of the fights. Kingsbane and Dragon Tempered Blades, both together looking really good. I didn't enjoy playing Shadow Dance. I tried it on a pull or two and it felt really weird. I didn't want to do it. And the damage didn't seem that worth. Um, but it could also just be a lag thing. Every time I tried to do an opener, you know, it was just lag city. Um, I'm hoping that tomorrow's tests will be better about that. But who knows? Um, but yeah, I mean, raid was fine. The, a the new AoE stuff was all good. The single target was about the same, just with Kingsbane, so nothing interesting happening there. Uh, afterwards, we did some Mythic Plus testing, if I find it. So we went to a Dark Heart Thicket. Here I died, the druids, like, bugging out. Um, the damage here in single target wasn't great, but I also wasn't playing Kingsbane, and I was trying to, like, get Spatter going and all that stuff. Uh, and this is sort of where the testing took a bit of a bad turn. So, the change to Indiscriminate Carnage, where it's now passive, I'm going to do a video on that as well, but the change to Indis Indiscriminate Carnage where it's a passive but you have to be in stealth actually feels fine to me, especially with Shadow Dance. Shadow Dance enabling that all the time is pretty good. I didn't have any downsides. Um, and this 20 dark heart went really smooth with it. But there was still a high payoff for AoE to single target. So that payoff of losing single target for your AoE was still there. Um, now, obviously, Outlaw Rogue is cracked right now. It's so good. So I wouldn't look at the damage numbers. There's still a lot of tuning left. And I was just testing stuff. So this was a bunch of new things. This was Passive Exsanguinate post-nerf. This was Shadow Dance, Carnage, um, the basically everything under the sun. Spatter was in there as well. It ended up being okay. Spatter really didn't do much, I'm gonna be honest. Spatter was about three and a half, four percent of my damage at the end of this key. Um, Exsanguinate, doing pretty good. You can see right here, even Exsanguinate was good, but Spatter nowhere to be seen. Um, I wasn't really playing around Spatter this pull, but Exsanguinate, passive, really good, as I run into a mushroom and die again, because I'm, I'm terrible. And um, yeah, from there on, it kind of took a sour note. I played Sudden Demise as well in the next key, which was a complete mess. Um, the, the key tuning is all over the place. So this 20 was okay. We went into a 20 of the Mega Dungeon and just got absolutely hammered. Things were just one-shotting um, out of the blue. Like, there was a barrage that just one-shot me from 100%. Um, and it wasn't interruptible. So, you know, all sorts of weird stuff to still figure out. But Sudden Demise ended up being really weak. And I say really weak when I'm talking about the effect. There's a passive line on Sudden Demise that increases bleed damage by 10%. That part is really good. That's like four and a half, five percent of my damage. Um, between four and five. But the actual effect of Sudden Demise where it kills low health targets, that wasn't it. It wasn't it. 
Um, this pull was actually pretty cool because you got to see Ironwire going to town. So this channel that they do is is really really rough, but you see they're all silenced right now through Ironwire, and I silenced them again with uh, Dance, and then I vanish here and I silence them again. Is it optimal damage wise? No, but I effectively kept this group silenced for like 15 seconds, just straight up. 15, 20 second silence. This is pretty good. Um, but yeah, it it feels like the effects are there. Crimson Tempest does damage. Um, Caustic Spatter does damage in the niche that it exists in. So like if you're taking if you're taking Dragon Tempered Blades, if you're taking Kingsbane, Spatter is really really good. If you're not taking those, then Spatter is a blip on the radar. Um, it's almost feels like it's not worth playing around at all. Um, if you're not running Kingsbane. And if you're not running Kingsbane, you're also not doing single target, it feels like. So there's a trade-off to be had. Obviously, I only did like two or three keys, so... There could be uh, keys where you want to play Dragon Tempered Blades, Kingsbane, right? I don't want to fully say, oh, it's doomed, it's so undertuned. I only played a very, very specific set of talents, right? I haven't tested Poison Bomb extensively in Mythic Plus. Poison Bomb could be really good. Um, going full bleeds on a, on a really big fortified key and just giving up your boss damage could be really good. I kind of went halfway and didn't succeed in either. So that kind of just points to me not having a good build and trying to do too many things at once rather than assassination being bad, right? So just keep that in mind. I'm also all over the place. This is, this is, one, of the, this is one of the unhinged rants. But gameplay-wise, where it's really at, felt amazing. Gameplay was there. It was it was solid. The gameplay was was big. It felt buttery smooth the entire time. I didn't really have any issues with energy management. I didn't have any issues worrying about um, carnage. There was like two moments where I didn't have carnage when I wanted it. But all in all, it was just a pleasant experience. And uh, there was definitely times where I wish I was doing more damage, but there was more than enough fun in the gameplay that it didn't bother me. And I know that the tuning will, you know, figure itself out eventually. Um, so yeah. That's kind of my thoughts. Um, the talents are, you know, still the talents. There's nothing really new that I can share in terms of like ideas or whatever. Um, but in general, I'm really liking where Assassination's going. I think that it's it's on the way up. Passive Exsanguinate after the change for energy, it feels incredible. I I mean, it it's great. It's great stuff. Um, having to pool and, you know, thinking about can I use a, a, a mutilate here or will it bring me under the threshold, that skill ceiling, that's really cool to me. That's It feels great to me. Um, I know a lot of other people might hate it, but for me personally, it's kind of everything that I wanted and now it's just the tuning and a couple of quality of life stuff that needs to change um, in order to, to really make it you know, solidify it and get all the, the rough edges sanded out. But yeah, um, I'll do more raid testing tomorrow. If there's anything weird about those bosses, obviously I'll, I'll talk about it then. Uh, there's also a podcast tomorrow or well, I guess today by the time you guys are seeing this probably. Um, Friday, 11 a.m. Um, Pacific. I'm going to be streaming it on Twitch. So if you follow me on Twitch, you know, do that. There's content. You can see rants like this, except spread out over the course of like seven hours. 
if that's for some reason something you want. <laughs> but yeah, testing was good. The raids were, the raid fights were fun. Mythic Plus's tuning is all over the place. Uh, the spec feels incredible. Really, I, I, I don't have anything negative to say, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I thoroughly enjoy all the changes and the gameplay is smooth. Are the talents balanced properly? Are there like some kinks to work out gameplay wise where it's like, oh, that doesn't feel great. Like sudden demise being mostly like bleed percent increase. That doesn't feel great. Um, or, or like needing to go through caustic to get to exsanguinate in Mythic Plus and then Caustic not doing anything in Mythic Plus. Um, except for that one specific niche of like, I have King's Bane, I have Dragon Tempered Blades, I'm gonna go ham. I mean, it's a little weird, right? It's a little weird. I'm not gonna say that it's perfect, but the, the building blocks have been laid, the foundation is there, and now just some tweaks and some tuning and I think we'll get we'll get a really, really smooth spec that can perform all content, which is really, at the end of the day, what we've been asking for, right? Anyways, I have more things to do. Uh, Wowhead article soon, podcast tomorrow, more raid testing tomorrow, well, Friday, if you're watching this in the future or on Friday. I'm going to be doing that. Probably more M plus testing. Um... Yeah, and then at some point simulations will be ready and I'll have to dig into that and it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a, a lot of work. But uh, thanks for letting me vent to you guys for the last, what is this, 17 minutes? And uh, I hope your testing went well. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow after testing. Or if I see you on stream, say hi. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good one.